Y'all, I'm going to make this quick. And the reason I'm making this video is because apparently I'm the only one that gives a crap that the FBI recently, yesterday, came out and said that there are terrorists on American soil who are going to coordinate a series of 15 to 20 different attacks on the same day at the same time on American soil. The FBI also said in the same breath that if you do not have any survival supplies that they would recommend that you get things like water, batteries, MREs, dry food, a generator, gasoline, first aid kits, any medical supplies that you can find or medicines. Yeah, they're warning us and no news outlets are talking about it. I've seen one other guy talk about this. Now, if you know me personally or you've met me before, then you know that I take these issues seriously due to the fact that I probably have PTSD from 9-11. My mother knew that that was a terrorist attack before the second building was hit. She knew. And whatever you want to call it, intuition, gut instinct, whatever, I have that now. I call it my sixth sense. I'm not a very smart woman. But even Ray Charles could see that we have set ourselves up for failure over a period of five or six generations. Economically, we're seeing that, you know. Our military is pretty much non-existent, especially when you look at other militaries. In 1973, we had a little over 700,000 reserves. We currently have 76,000. If you have a bunker or a basement, I would advise to start cleaning that out and setting that up for worst case scenario. I have started doing that myself. For about a year, I've been collecting MREs and uh, dry food storage. About six months ago, I started collecting weapons. I was bred for this. World War III has already started, y'all. And the FBI coming out and all of their statements this week are telling y'all that. Now, there's four or five statements that are on their website. You can also find them on Google and YouTube. I would advise not to watch the ones on YouTube because they're, like, so damn censored. You know what I mean? Like, this might get censored. And matter of fact, while I got y'all on the line, let me show you exactly who this terrorist organization is. Because I can't say the name, but I can show y'all. And I want you guys to do your own research on who these people are, where they came from, what their mission is. Like, it's wild. These people are on American soil with the intention of committing terrorist attacks in multiple cities all in one day. To take out our infrastructure, to ruin our water, to take away our, you know, technology, uh, to take away our power, to kill us. To kill us. It's almost as if society forgets that there are multiple countries out there that want to see us destroyed. We are the, not only the biggest and best nation on earth, but we're the most hated nation on earth. Now, some of these cities include... Los Angeles, California, San Diego, California, San Antonio, Texas, Dallas, Texas, Orlando, Florida, Tampa, Florida, Raleigh, North Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina. These are all on the watch list. And there's more. You can find that list through the FBI's website. And I would advise for you to stay the hell out of these cities. And if you live there, I'm so sorry. The FBI also, in their press conference, a different one this week, addressed a draft. And wouldn't you know it? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, God. Gen Z wants to know if they're going to be drafted. Of course you're going to be fucking drafted. <laughs> if you're between the ages of 18 and 25, it's coming, honey. And no, you cannot wear your dress and heels on the front line. <laughs> I just want y'all to picture this. Gen Z on the front lines fighting a war. Because that's what's coming. And we're already in the middle of it. It started with Ukraine. We are actively in the middle of World War III. And when these attacks start to happen, we're going to see a great divide. That divide has already started. We have certain people that want to, you know, support Israel. And we have certain uh, other people that want to support a terrorist organization. And I've never said this before, but I stand with God's people. <laughs> I was recently in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. And while in Chapel Hill at a prestigious college, UNC, I couldn't help but notice all of the Palestinian flags. The war has already started. And if you are not prepared, you will be left behind. So I advise that y'all get out and start building your bunkers and purchasing everything you're going to need to survive because the FBI has given us a fair warning. And news stations, journalists are not even telling y'all. That, that's why I'm here. That's why I started this channel. Because it is alarming that the FBI is telling us that we're going to be attacked. And it's not being reported on. Y'all stay safe out there. I love y'all. I wanted to do this little TED Talk. Oh, one last thing. I really have a question because I can't find any information online. And by the way, I don't know much, y'all. I state time and time again, like, I'm learning all of this stuff. But what I do know is is from history. You know what I mean? And um, I don't know if I would be able to go on the draft. But that is my question because I can't find out. Now, I am a felon. I have two counts of attempted murder on my record. I'm just saying that that should qualify me for the draft. <laughs> Dead ass. My only surviving blood relative is in the Middle East right now. Four of my very closest allies are in the Middle East right now. I have five people over there. I would rather be over there with them fighting for a purpose than over here turning into a sheep. We are at a very pivotal crossroads in our history. And it's some scary shit. And y'all see where I am. Out in the woods. And this is where I will be. <laughs> Until the dust is settled. Anyways, I hope you guys have a good day. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Go buy you a generator. Some MREs. And uh, stay vigilant. Bye, y'all.